This is an AI-generated Instagram influencer. Just write a character profile, generate their schedule, and watch it work. With this workflow, you can create Instagram-ready posts and images for an influencer of your imagination. And it can be completely managed by AI or however much you want to be in the loop. Let me show you how it works. This is AI Agents A to Z. As a prerequisite for this workflow, we are using OpenAI because their GPT image generation can use images as references when you are creating new images. So that means consistency throughout the image generation. Since OpenAI is a paid API, we are going to provide you a cost breakdown at the end of this video. If you are a local model enthusiast, you could try to use Stable Diffusion 3.5, install a lot of LoRa's and build a custom LoRa for your model. Besides the OpenAI account, you are going to need a free Superbase account. You need to create a database schema and also a storage bucket. You can find a written guide below in the description on how to do that exactly and what kind of schema you need to create. One other thing you'll need is to set up Instagram. We recommend using a new account and it needs to be converted to a business account. Details are all in the guide below. You'll also need a reference image for how our AI influencer looks. Head to the playground in platform.openai.com and click on images. Add your prompt as detailed as possible. Generate the image. High quality is going to be best. And this will be your reference image. As of today, an OpenAI account needs to be verified in order to generate images. So keep that in mind. Finally, if you're new to NAN, this workflow can be a bit more challenging to build from scratch. Just download the JSON workflow linked in the description below and you can configure and use it as it is. We'll start with the configuration. Since we are sending out emails to approve the different aspects of the posts, you're gonna provide one where all these emails are going to arrive to. Then we need to upload the reference image to Superbase. Head to the storage, to the bucket that you created using the guide that we linked below. It is in the guide, but don't forget that this bucket needs to be public for Instagram to work. And you upload the reference image into this bucket. You also want to include the profile of the influencer. You can see it's quite detailed. This is automatically creating the current week. You also need to include the Superbase project ID which you will find in the project settings right here and the Superbase bucket name that you created. Make sure to include the Instagram business account ID. This one is tough to get, so please make sure to follow the guide linked in the description. And you also don't need to touch the current quarter because this is created automatically. Now with all of these parameters configured, we can go to the next step. The most important thing to start with is painting a full story of our influencer. That means planning every quarter, every month, every week, and every day of the week. This helps us create continuity and consistency, which is key. All of this will also be stored in our Supabase database. So think of these as fake life calendar, which will be used to generate her social post calendar. I'm going to walk you through now how the quarterly planning works. We start with checking the database to see if there is a quarterly plan already in place. If we cannot find one, we are going to ask for input from the user. And we are sending out to the email address that is set up in the configuration node, the form asking for instructions for the next quarter. Once we receive the instructions, we are using the LLM to generate the quarterly plan. We received many requests to explain how the JSON schemas are working. We actually found that using an information extractor node with some system prompt is a better alternative if you don't need to use more complicated data structures like arrays or objects. In a later video, we are going to show you how to use more complex data structures. You can see here that we are using a prompt to ask for the quarterly plan and we are sending the personal profile with the instructions coming from the user. And since we are going to have approval round, if there is already a quarterly plan in place with change requests, then we are going to render those as well. As I mentioned, we have this approval round where we are sending the data that was generated here. And then you can see, we check whether they are approving it. 
So if there is a change request, we are setting the change request and the quarterly plan fields. So then going back to this node, it's going to activate this condition. Once we get an approval, we are saving the data to the plans table. Creating the monthly plan is almost identical. The only difference is you can see here that besides the personal profile and the instructions, you also include the quarterly plan and we define the current month. So the LLM knows what to do exactly with the planning. The weekly plan is also very similar, but I would like to call out some differences. One is in here, we are asking the LLM to create a social media post calendar and we include the quarterly plan as well as the monthly plan and the target week that is configured in the configuration node at the very beginning. Besides that, it is identical to the first one. All right, let's generate the Instagram post then. To keep the posts consistent, we are starting with getting all the posts from the past seven days. And then after merging them into one single object, we have this prompt that instructs the LLM to create the text of the next post. It also will create the image prompt that we are going to use to generate the image with, as well as a summary that we can use in the database to keep track of what we posted in the past couple of days. We also include all the context the LLM needs to generate the posts. We have the personal profile, the whole weekly plan, the day of the week. And if there is a change request, we also have this condition to include all the change requests and the previously generated post content. Once we have the new post, we generate a unique ID for the image. That's how we are going to store it in the storage. And then after downloading the reference image from Superbase, we are sending everything to OpenAI and we ask OpenAI to generate a new image for us using the prompt that was generated. And you can see here, we are using the downloaded image from the previous node and the GPT image one model with the quality high. You can set it to medium as well. It could work, but our tests show that the high quality works the best. And the size is set to a square image with the output format JPEG, which is the required format for Instagram. And we are setting an output compression of 80. Once the B64 image arrived, we convert it into an actual image inside an A10. And then we upload that to Superbase. Once that's uploaded, we create a share link and into the approval node, we insert the share link as well as the post content that was generated. As a last step, we do the approval process. And if it wasn't approved, there are change requests. Then we send everything back with setting the proper fields. And when it's approved, we save it to the database. And then we use the Facebook node to create the media container and then the actual post on Instagram. Let's test this out and create a post. Now the influencer we created is a nature photographer who travels the world. Let's give some input on what we'd like our quarterly plan to be. I'd like my influencer to go to Hungary, the Netherlands and California. And we can specify that we want our influencer to go to one location each month of the quarter. Now that we've submitted our input, it'll generate a detailed quarterly plan and it'll ask us for our approval. Once again, we'll go to our email, take a look at the generated plan. In April, we start in Hungary. Each week has different expeditions or activities. In May, we're in the Netherlands. In June, in California. This looks good, so let's approve. Now our workflow is creating the monthly plan. So let's head over to our email. Here it's asking for input on how to create the monthly plan. It'll also provide the quarterly plan. So you have a reference for what you'd like to suggest. So because it's May, we're going to the Netherlands and I want to make sure our influencer gets to eat some of that famous Dutch cheese and Stroopwafel. All right, it's generated our monthly plan. 
So we can go in and take a look. It's included a post for our influencer to ask their followers about their favorite cheeses. She's also going to the shop for cheese and stroopwafel. So it looks like this was a success. Let's hit approve. Now this will send it over to create the weekly plan. Again, we've got an email for our input. We have our quarterly and monthly plan again for us to reference. And I want to make sure our influencer visits the famous Vondel Park. It's generating our weekly plan based on the instructions and we should get the approval. Let's check out that first week. Yep. There it is on Tuesday. It's added bike through Vondel Park. Perfect. Let's approve the weekly plan. And now it's creating Instagram post for today, which is Tuesday. It's generating the image with OpenAI. Now generating the image could take 40 to 50 seconds. So don't be concerned if you're waiting for a bit. Now we've gotten final email where we can look at the entire post for the day and check out the generated image. <laughs> There's a camera on the bike. <laughs> Is it part of the bike? Okay. So the, the one slightly goofy part might be that camera mounted on the bike. So let's add some instruction, change the camera position. And here I have to make sure to word my change request so that it's changing the image prompt. So not the post content, just the image prompt. Okay, let's see how it takes my feedback. And we've got our camera on a strap around the neck. Looks like it worked. Ah. Okay, now we can improve our post. And we're finishing it off by posting it to Instagram. So here's our page for our influencer. You can see the generated image with the post content. So you're probably wondering how much using OpenAI's image generation would cost. If you are using the medium quality, then counting 30 images per month, if you don't need to make any changes, of course, then you are going to pay around like $1.50 per month. However, if you are using the high quality images, then you are going to pay around $7 per month. You are probably also thinking, okay, I'm paying money to generate these posts. How am I going to get some return? So if your influencer blows up, <laughs> <laughs> if your influencer goes viral, you can create sponsored posts. So the sponsors will fund your project. As we mentioned earlier, this workflow is optimized for one daily post. You can modify this or tweak this however you want but we've built this with that current limitation. As always, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to like and subscribe. Bye. See you next time.